Dr. Marcia move with Marcia and let's get into trunk rotations on all fours and different ways that you can move and groove there. Ready? Trunk rotation is an integral part of us moving our spines. We are beings that do not just move in the forward and back and side to side, right? We twist and we move. So being able to twist and move at all parts of our spine, super important. So that's why trunk rotation is important. So you can get on hands and knees however you get on hands and knees. So if that means that you rest your elbows on something, then sure, go for it. But either way, you get into hands and knees and then you have a few choices. First choice is to move without using any tools, right? Move the trunk rotation. So you can have a straight arm and reach up and across towards the sky. You can have a bent arm, maybe put a hand behind your head, but we're not starting here sinking. We're starting active, pushing away from the ground, hand squeezing, elbows pushing up. Then I'm twisting open and coming down as much as I can. So whether you do that with a straight arm or a bent arm, you can try out both. And again, you can be doing it from a modified position. I get the same motion here. Now, the next choice you have is maybe using a foam roller. In reality, this one I'm about to demonstrate on is too long for me, and I have to go open up a little bit too much. But for demonstra blah, demonstration purposes, let's pretend it's totally proportionate. So you put that in the middle, use that hand, and roll with it. So again, this is too big for me, so I'm kind of getting real wide here. And you can use that to roll in and out. So this might be a dynamic move where I roll for three and then maybe I hold the last one for 30 seconds or 10 seconds, whatever. Or this could be a part of something active. So the first version I showed you, you could have a band somewhere. You could do the same thing here, right? As long as the band is fixed on something and you're either pulling away from it or this way, the band's on the other side and you're pulling away from it, you can add resistance. You can also add resistance with a light weight or heavy weight, I guess. The weight's up to you. So I'm going to show you with a kettlebell. You could do it with a dumbbell as well. It wouldn't work with something like a med ball unless it has a handle because we're not going to roll it. We're going to drag it. So we get to the hands and knees, solid, not sinking, pushing away. This is solid too. And every time that I move, my hips are steady. So if you find yourself twisting and you have to shift your weight, you're not twisting at the spot. So to do it with the weight, you reach and twist, drag it back, reset. Reach, twist, drag it back, reset. Reach, twist, drag it back, reset. So that can be a pretty good strengthening exercise, good warm up, good loosening up. You can make that very intense. You can make that very chill. As long as you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, you can make rotation on the floor work for you. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Otherwise, hit that thumbs up so I know you like this video. Subscribe for more videos and hit the bell if you don't want to miss when I upload every Saturday. Maybe you don't know what day of the week it is anymore. I usually don't. Doodles.